Peripheral arterial occlusive disease is a condition where the iliac and femoral arteries are occluded and as a result of this lesion, the patient may develop pain in the lower leg when walking. At the same time, this may cause rest pain or even to the development of ulcers. The first treatment option is always walking exercise, usually with the aid of a physiotherapist and also an adaptation of lifestyle. When these walking exercises do not lead to results and the patient keeps having disabling claudication, an operation may be considered. Today, we are treating a 70-year-old male who has been suffering from disabling claudication for some time and despite the exercises, his walking distance is shortened to only 50 meters and at the same time, he suffers from rest pain. When we look at the CT scan of this patient, we see that just underneath the renal arteries, which you can see here, thrombus is seen in the aorta. This main artery splits into two iliac arteries, one here and the other one over here. And you see a seriously calcified occlusion of the right iliac artery, which continues into the aorta. And also on the left side, a reduction of patency is seen in the left iliac artery. The syrup technique is a minimal invasive alternative for a bifurcation graft procedure which we have been able to execute in the Rheinstadt Hospital for the last few years. During the procedure, we first introduced, using ultrasound, two small tubes into the femoral arteries. Then, using a small guide wire, the lesions on both sides are passed until we reach the aorta again. When both guide wires are put into place, the first stent is being deployed in the aorta. When this stent is placed, two extra stents are being placed into the first stent onto both iliac arteries to get the final result. On this final angio, you can see that the abdominal aorta and the iliac arteries have a normal patency. The advantage of this new technique over the outdated bifurcation graft procedure is that it is a minimal invasive procedure where we do not have to perform major abdominal surgery but we can operate through two small access points in the groins. The result? Less complications and a faster recovery. In general, patients go home the first day after the procedure. The disadvantage of this procedure is that we do not have long-term data available for this new technique. Nou, ik had uh, heel erg klachten aan de benen, als alle praktisch heel slecht lopen kon. Omdat de bloedvaten aan de ene kant stond uh, voor 100% dicht en de andere kant zat voor 75% dicht. Uh, dan kon ik praktisch geen trappen lopen meer. Ik kon niet normaal wandelen meer, dan moest ik vijf meter te lopen. Een poosje stilstaan, dat ik eerst weer bij uh, een beetje kwam. En, uh, toen heb ik een uh, operatie gekregen. En uh, sinds ik mijn operatie gekregen heb, gaat al alles prima. Ik heb zelf geen uh, last van de operatie gehad, geen pijn. Nee, dat is me 100% meegevallen.